We're going shark diving. This is like the best day ever. Somehow we ended up in the Florida Keys. We're getting in for sunset. Sorry, little guy. Hello and welcome to the vlog for this week. This week should be a fun one because tomorrow I'm going to the Keys and today, guys, I'm so excited. We're going shark diving, but not just the regular shark diving. We're going to look for hammerhead sharks. It's going to be a very, very long boat day and I'm short on time. So I'm getting packed up real quick and then we're going to head out. Hopefully we'll find something. Obviously on a shark dive like this, nothing is promised at all. And especially hammers, they are very shy creatures, but I'm feeling hopeful. We have fins, masks, our wetsuits, and then we're bringing the big camera. We made it to the location. I don't know if we're in the right spot, but I'm so stressed because I'm trying to do work at the exact time that we're supposed to meet here. <sighs> but that's just the reality of you know, trying to be an influencer at the same time of having a full-time job. I texted them, so hopefully we'll figure it out. We made it on the boat. It is a beautiful day out, though. First and foremost, uh, don't die and don't get eaten. <laughs> no, but in all reality, the most important thing, whether it's today or in the future with your sharks, um, you really want to always keep your eyes on the sharks. Like, even if you're in here, you know, you're at night in the Keys, you see a shark, you just want to get your eyes on it and just watch it and keep watching it. That's like the most important thing. If they see you watching them, they feel comfortable because everything in nature watches them and also you'll know where they're at so you'll feel more comfortable. Look guys, it's Peanut Island, my favorite place. Apparently it's going to be such a good day. We have fresh bait. Apparently like the weather's just perfect for this so I'm feeling really hopeful. The water's looking so clear. I'm just excited to get in. <laughs> it's a pretty bumpy right out here. But it's so beautiful. I don't mind. you need to go on if you're ever in florida this is the tour nice hammerhead today and then bull sharks and so we're the only boat here uh, in florida that will target hammerheads uh, great hammerheads specifically and then also do night dives um, so we're the only boat that does those two things and so far we're 11 and 11 in the season with the hammers so really really good time to be out here that is so awesome i'm definitely coming on a night dive guys thank you what an awesome day guys i'm not kidding that's probably by far the best shark tour i've ever been on it was just like the best people um alex everyone running it all the people that were on board with us we played music the whole time like it was so fun and then the hammerhead experience absolutely insane it just like stuck around it kept like checking us all out and then there were so many bull sharks at the end my mind is just blown this is like the best day ever it's the next day and somehow we ended up in the florida keys we woke up at 6 30 a.m because i have a work meeting at 10 a.m that i was like i either have to be in the keys for that or i can't leave until after that and i wanted to have the whole day in the keys so we've just entered we're about like 17 minutes away from being at home 
It looks like such a beautiful day out, so I'm really, really excited. Hurley is ready to be there as well. <laughs> It's actually so chilly here, but I changed my swimsuit. Like how good that looks, it's giant. Poor Hurley, he just wants to come outside. <laughs> here it goes. This is the perfect Hurley holder. Hurley's a little scaredy cat sometimes, so he normally won't jump off things, but he loves this sun chill. Ready? I now got suited up. Austin's gonna keep watching her <laughs> in the sun chill and we're gonna go swimming. because frankly that was my warmest swim in a very long time but we didn't really see much our lobsters are coming back though the lobsters from our neighbor's dock are also coming back I saw a couple crabs some molts around not too much but it's just so pretty outside I'm just happy to be out and about we moved the sun chill over there and then it was not clear at all but from above you can see everything. It's so fun to watch. There's always like little fishies going around. There's a couple barracudas just hanging out over there. It's always funny to me because barracudas are not very common in Hawaii. So the divers there will freak out when like they see a barracuda. But here there's barracudas literally every single inch of water. How cute! Can you see this little parrot fish just right there? And obviously tons of little fishies all around. I'm just so happy to be back. One of my favorite things to do is to come over by where the fishermen are cleaning their fish because then it attracts all the tarpon and the sharks and all the animals. So we're going to go check that out right now. Luckily, the tarpon are here today and they are huge. And then, of course, we have some pelicans waiting for some food. They're all fighting over a piece of fish. <laughs> We just ate dinner and it is now sunset time as you can probably see behind me but I want to show you guys well, look at these cute chairs that they just got. I'm obsessed with them. I know. Oh, you can just snuggle on in these. Enjoy the view. This is the first time I've been here that they've had them so it's a very exciting time. And there's the sun. It's going down. I cannot believe this view. They've owned this house my entire life, but I swear, it never, ever, ever gets old. It is so cold, but we're getting in for sunset. We gotta do it. It's too pretty out. The seagulls are all here. Everyone's around, so it's gonna be a good sunset tonight. Oh, I don't want to get in. <laughs> all right, this isn't too bad, actually. We have to get all the way in the water before the sun sets so. Look how beautiful it is tonight. The sun went down and everyone said they saw a green flash, but I didn't see one. There were so many seagulls out though. They're now headed back to their little island and everybody left me, so. I'm just alone swimming out here. I had to go rescue my sun chill though. I just feel so lucky to have grown up here. This is the best ever. And honestly, the water is not even that cold. I seriously can't get over how beautiful that is. It just keeps getting better. Look at that. That is so insane. These are the shells that they got given by, what's it called? Crustacean plantation. Mm -hmm. And she collects, not collects, it's a nonprofit to right. get shells for the hermit crabs. Right. So she gave my grandparents a bunch of more shells to put out for our hermit crabs. These are the shells we're putting out tonight. Those are the ones Grammy picked. 
This is the big hermit crab hangout. We put our shells all out. We already have a little guy looking around. And a couple more over here crawling around. A couple that were leaving in the tree over here. You gotta watch my step. And we have one way back in the tree. They love to hang out in here. And that is their water. Grammy's peeling the trees. The work never stops, even late at night. I went and took a shower, and now I'm back out here to see if any of the hermit crabs are changing shells. We have three here, all fighting for shells together. Look at that teeny tiny guy. That one's running away now. There's a frog jumping over there. <laughs> Two little guys in the tree stump. Seems like this guy is trying to pick that shell, and then that guy wants his shell, and that guy wants his shell. This guy just switched into a new shell, which means his shell right there is empty. It looks like this guy's going to try to check it out, but I feel like he's too big for it. This is how they inspect it. They take a really long time and turn the shell over and over and over until finally they decide if it's good or not. Good morning, guys. I'm out here with Hurley. And the key is whenever we get here, he changes into a completely different dog because he just thinks it's so exciting to be here, which I appreciate. So we're headed out to the dock and then we're going to go straight to the dog park, which is our normal routine. He has so many friends here. Come on, Alice. It's a little windy, but it's so beautiful. I actually could not believe how pretty the sky looks right now. This dog park that we go to in the Keys is actually my favorite dog park ever because I don't know, the people are just always the same. It's obviously much, much smaller than ours back home. But the same people just come like the same, I don't know, max 10 different people <laughs> come in the morning. And they're all just so nice. And they all just like talking about the weather and fishing and diving and all that. So it's so nice. And then Hurley just has like the same best friends. Basically every dog that goes there, I don't know why, is a puppy. And well, Hurley's almost three now. He just has so much energy that he just plays best with puppies. The most dramatic dog in the world. We're going. We're going. Stay. Hurley. Stay. No. Stay. 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 Stay, Pep. Okay. I brought Hurley in this ball. So today our plan is the firefighters are throwing on an event at this park to thank everyone, the community, I don't know. <laughs> They're already cooking here. It smells so good. It's barbecue today. Amazing. So we're doing that a little bit later at 11. Dog park upgraded though. They normally don't have bug spray. It's so buggy here in the Keys. So got to put some of this on real quick. Looks like it's running low. This dog park always has a ton of toys. I'm going to guess this is going to be your favorite, right, Harris? Let me see. talking this place up and there's no one here which is so unusual I don't think that's ever happened maybe once before and all the time I'm here so hopefully people show up soon I love this one because it has a little handle on it so it's like he's holding a purse 40 minutes later and there's still no one here but honestly really having the time of his life you having fun you have your ball <laughs> so cute. I pulled Austin out of bed today because part of my routine when I come to the Keys is to stock up on photos. So I come to this really, really cute road every single time. And then I bring a bunch of outfits. Right now I'm obsessed with this one I'm wearing. This top is American Eagle and then the skirt's cotton on. And then I just take a bunch of cute photos all around here. We came back home to pick up Hurley. Because now we are going to that event I was talking about where the firefighters are giving out free food. We forgot the case of the truck, so I was just running in. And we're heading on over there. I'm starving though, but I've been trying to hold out for this. Hopefully it's good. It's so loud so I can't really share, but we're just sitting on the beach. We got our food. Pearly's eating the cob. He loves corn. <laughs> back to the house and straight out to the water because look how flat it is today. Oh, it's so nice. So with the paddle board out, we're gonna paddle around, see if we can find anything. 
the water clarity is like good overall obviously you can see around but i can tell that if you were in the water it wouldn't be that good so hopefully we can find something from above the water before i have to get in we've been out paddling around going down these canals and we have not seen a single animal i don't know what it is lately but they've just been hiding not even a manatee usually manatees nurse sharks tarpon they love these canals but this one's a pretty clear canal and absolutely nothing's gone by found a very shallow mangrove tunnel it is so pretty in here i've never seen a baby shark that small here's my hand for reference it is teeny tiny oh sorry little guy this whole area is full of upside down jellies i just made a mess with my foot here but here's one they are so pretty Charlie and I are just hanging out in the sun chill today. Can you throw your ball? Ready? I am so proud of him because really he is such a scaredy cat with a lot of things. Ooh. <laughs> He's done such a good job up here. And this thing is so perfect for him because normally he's always just like trying to run away somewhere. But this keeps him trapped. Okay. <laughs> I've been sleeping on the dock all day long. It's been so, so nice. And now we're heading over to where the fishermen clean their fish again, just like we did yesterday. You gotta see what shows up. All the pelicans are just hanging out, fighting over the fish. All the manatees are just swimming around here, eating fish. And we are back. I freaking love the manatees. I'm so happy they were there. Manatees are there actually really often. And they're also eating fish really often, which is so bizarre because manatees are not supposed to be eating meat. Unfortunately, I think in this area they've grown accustomed to the feeding. And it was another stunning sunset tonight. It is so windy out here, so we can't really feel much. But it just went down. So beautiful. It's another beautiful day in the Keys this morning. Always with Hurley and we're the usual about to go to the dog park. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. It is finally calm enough to feed the fish on the dock, which is usually what we do every single morning. So just went inside, got some sinking fish food. I did leave Hurley up here. Come on, ready to feed the fish? Let's see who's around. The first drop of the day. Just little fish. Oh, there comes the big fish. Oh, and a parrot fish today. And there's a barracuda coming on by. There's a parrot fish, the barracuda, a bunch of little fish, a bunch of snapper, little Sergeant Majors around. Hurley also has a fish food tax. I'm packing up right now because we are in store for a very exciting day. A nonprofit that I think I talked about in the slots, but basically the whole goal was to find homes for the hermit crabs in the area. Invited us over and on her boat. So we're gonna go over there, see all the shells and all the hermit crabs she has at her place. And then we are going to go out on her boat and I think go over to an island to check on the hermit crabs there. So possibly go swim somewhere. It's a very, very exciting day. There's so many squirrels out today. Look at this huge hermit crab. He is giant. He's currently living in our biggest shell that we put out. Look how beautiful their little property is. So all the hermit crabs just crawl all around through here. Here's an example. So here's where, where's our main transportation. <gasps> how cool. Wow. Um, of course, we have a sign there for the hermit crabs to read. So what's on the initials that are all on here? Mm -hmm. These are the people, it's kind of like corporate sponsoring. So this is South of the Ocean, S-O-T-O, mm -hmm. and Sherry Britt. So I mark all of these shells with their initials. Um, but a lot of people will send me shells and they put their initials on there. And whenever 
I see them in one of their shells, I'll take a picture and I post it. Oh, and, that's so sweet. And they love it. They're yeah. just like, oh uh -huh. my god, this is amazing. My shell is housing a hermit crab. So like, here's a, this is another box I got in. How crazy. And they're also beautiful. I was looking at my grandma's <laughs> that you gave her. Yeah. And they're very beautiful. So whenever I do put out shells and after a wild night of partying, I checked back here a little bit ago and I didn't really see a lot of them. But again, a lot of times they go up into the trees. Mm -hmm. How cute. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I know. She's like, wait, I don't know. Hello. 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 We are pulling up now to Indian Key. This place has so much history actually, but apparently it has a great hermit crab population, so we're going to visit them. We're now walking over from the boat over to the island. We put a whole bunch of shells like right in our area. Oh yeah, that was so stupid real fast. Yeah. Look at, oh my gosh, that is way too. Mm -hmm. Them out for you. These actually, I think, are one of the shells that I bought. This is, a, this is a native shell, also. It's a tiny guy. <laughs> wow, Austin found what's left of a pretty big horseshoe crab. How cool. This is an iguana tail, and you can see all of the bones in there. Gross. So, the shell on the back you can see is completely broken. You can see his body. The back of his body mm -hmm, yeah. is completely exposed. It's so pretty out here. And if you wait a second while I zoom on in, you can see the lighthouse all the way out there, right in the middle. And we went the short little distance out to Alligator Reef, as you guys know, my favorite. Bye. 